Hey, JP here. We're just back from our Away 132 high altitude balloon mission. This was our 200th flight. It went great and we're all pretty jazzed here. I'm putting together a video about the whole mission. However, there was one really cool part of the flight that I just wanted to show you right away. We were able to watch the balloon burst at the edge of space right from the ground at the launch site. And here it is. <laughs> we had perfect wind conditions aloft. The balloon took off, flew 10 miles downrange, turned around, flew 10 miles back. So when it reached 102,900 feet, it was straight overhead. Everyone at the launch site could see it. But first, let's start with the launch. On the ground, the balloon was 8 feet in diameter. At 102,900 feet, it's 60 feet in diameter. 110 minutes later, at the peak. I think it's gone. Yep. I caught it. The platform is just visible as a speck below the balloon. Zoomed in a little. I think it's gone. Now, in slow motion. You can see the shattered remains of the balloon drifting apart. Some balloon bursts are so gentle you can't tell in the video when it's happened. Others can be pretty violent. You want to put just the right amount of helium in the balloon so it reaches the maximum stretch as high as possible. So a really violent balloon burst means everything was just right. This one was perfect. Hang on. Now, in slow motion. Nothing left but the 19 mile fall. Away 132 landed nine miles from the launch site after its journey to the shore of space and back. And yes, that was the valve experiment that hit first, and it is toast. Everything else on the vehicle was just fine. 
If you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, it actually really does help us out. Now we're still unpacking, but we'll, pretty soon we'll get the full mission video out and get that out to you. Thank you for watching.